Hello folks, have a little bit of a special video today. I got multiple products from an organization called Noble Knight Games. So basically I'm going to talk about why you buy from local game stores first off. So what this is, is an uncut, you know, very good condition copy of uh, the Rebel Storm Star Wars Miniatures Scenario, well, Ultimate Missions, whatever, you know, scenario book, basically. Uh, I guess it's boarded with the, you know, the comic book type board. But what this has is right here, it has the maps. This is essentially why you'd be buying this product, is you'd be wanting the Death Star map or the Cloud City map. Uh, I think that might be the two maps. Um, I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head. But the point is you buy this for the maps, basically. Um, and so I purchased last week this copy, also from them. Uh, which specifically says uh, no tokens, but there was another copy that said no tokens and no maps. So I figured this one, you know, would have the maps. It did not. And this is where the buying from local game stores comes in. I explained the situation, you know, um, and I explained that, you know, basically the reason I bought the product, this one, was to get the maps, obviously. And, you know, given the whole it said blah 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 it made sense why i would think that that one would have the maps basically so what they did was they just sent me the book with the maps for free i didn't have to send this back i was willing to send this back honestly especially because they you know quote unquote made right on the situation but yeah basically i was able to tell someone that hey i didn't get my maps you know in my book and they cared you know what i mean they understood what i meant and where i was coming from uh, Amazon obviously gets scapegoated as, you know, the big box thing or whatever that you buy from, but it's a great example, literally a bookseller originally. You're not going to get that same care. You might even message someone beforehand about the book or whatever, which I did on other platforms, and you might get a response of, we don't even get to see our inventory, we cannot answer your question. Uh, versus this person who decided to take a loss, you know what I mean? To take a financial loss in order to make this situation right because he understands that these maps were going to make me happy, essentially, you know? And that without those maps, I was going to be unhappy. And it's not, I'm not talking about my satisfaction as a customer. I'm talking about how someone who owns a local game store understands the affect and the feeling that precedes our emotions on this stuff whether they have you know the vocabulary to talk about it or they consciously think about it or not they understand this okay that is what you're paying for when you shop at a local game store basically uh so a little rant aside basically the point is um after after noble knight games uh quote unquote made right on the situation uh, of course, uh, I went back to their website and I ordered a bunch of singles, right? That's how it goes. When someone, quote unquote, makes right, I want to do that back. Um, so I'm very excited. Obviously, this works the same way as it does with Yu-Gi-Oh! for me in that I order enough at one time that even though I, you know, know what the singles are going to be, uh, it's still exciting because it's effectively random what's showing up on that day. All right, so first off... Wow, are these all... Okay, no, so this one just coincidentally is in a top loader. I was like, wow, are these all in top loaders and everything? Uh, but yeah, we got the nice little Mon Calamari Mercenary that I picked up. Um, most of the stuff's more interesting than that. Uh, we have a mini-only uh, Obi-Wan, and I'm probably going to do some customs with. A, a lot of these pieces, actually, from this particular lot, um, I might do custom minis with. Uh, this is just a clone trooper. Um, this clone trooper I might... Uh, do some custom stuff with basically cutting the, the helmet off uh might do some luke skywalker stuff you know with uh, some stormtroopers or something uh or actually turn this rebel pilot into a luke pilot or something uh, picked up this jedi guardian very bent lightsaber uh it's just funny <laughs> that looks hilarious uh i don't remember if i picked this up just to pick it up or if i intended to make a custom out of that or what but we've got a Bespin Guard. I think we have several Bespin Guards. That might be one of the only pieces that we got several of. At least three there. Three Bespin Guards. Cool. I uh, just ordered a Lando recently as well. So we've got also uh, two Bodyguard Droids. So this was these were priced uh, 
pretty well, in my opinion. I think they were like $1.50 or whatever, which normally they're definitely a piece that's a few dollars, at least, on other websites. Got a Grand Raider. I uh, would have bought more if they had. Classic piece. Classic four-point stealth piece. Uh, and then we got a Rebel Officer. This one, I mean, yeah, cool, it's a Rebel Officer. But I basically realized, yeah, I probably didn't need to buy the Mon Calar Mon Mercenary and Rebel Officer. I have other copies I've come to learn. But uh, whatever. Got the Itachi Tech Specialist. Uh, one of the last ones, a Clone Trooper Sergeant, I think is what this one is. Yeah, Sergeant. Uh, and this one, again, this might just become a custom mini. Might put Obi-Wan's head on it or something, uh, basically. And then uh, the last piece is this Luke with no card that, uh, you know, essentially this one would be the one that I that I cut up first or whatever. And then I have the copy with the card as well. Uh, yeah, so pretty, pretty satisfied with my purchase, basically. Uh, really happy with this stuff. And again, I can't overstate... Um, and I really can't articulate in words why you buy from local game stores, but this example hopefully, you know, illustrates via example why. Like, it, this captures a feeling, basically. The, the fact that this person did this is a big deal to me, and I appreciate it. Uh, and I appreciate you all watching. So, thanks for watching. Peace.